All right. So I settled on using this in the opposite orientation instead of having it. Hang on. Okay. Instead of having the top be here when I use it, the top is he here. So I'm going to change that second sketch so that this is not three anymore. It's like two. In fact, this can be. 1.2 and this can be 1.6 even. So now that's a lot smaller. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this whole guide situation because that's useless. Delete that. Delete, delete, delete. What is this? Delete that. What is the warning? Compute failed, no target body. Okay. Uh, cleaning up the guy, delete that. Guy, delete that, yes. Yes, delete that, okay. There should have been nothing there, and then I don't need that either. Um, and then now, oh, before I forget, this first sweep, can I move the path? No, I cannot. Okay. So what should I do? I made a sketch here. What I want to do is I want to close up this gap here. I project this. Put a line there. And I trim it. I thought I projected Okay, put a line here. That's collinear, trim this. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side. way and trim it. Now I should be able to loft this and this all right that should have connected these. So then if I rename this to closing a gap one and 
closing a gap two. And then I go ahead and I mirror this loft on the XZ plane, I will, oh, the XZ plane. All right, cool, cool. If I control Z and highlight this, yeah, okay, cool. Um, now what I can do is go back into this sketch. Let's see, take this, take, yeah, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, copy and paste. And I should be able to move it. Nope, okay. And instead what I'm going to do is move, create, copy, rotate on this. Oh goodness, what in the world? Never mind, holy smokes. Ah, uh, interesting. See what I need. What I what I want to do is I want to make this smaller. So. Move, create copy, rotate this. Why did all of that change? This one's not changing, but this one is. Why is this one changing? I don't know, but I'm going to try and fix it with this. Yeah, great, Drew. Okay, let's see. All right, cool. I fixed it. And then that. I believe is too much. That's also too much. Okay, so there's definitely an angle between them there. Actually, hang on. Okay, anything less than 20.4 technically would work. So then... minus 15 degrees that should work because there should be some angle between these it's very small it's practically parallel
but I still think that ought to work. So if I delete this one and this and keep that, uh, this, let's see, and this, and then I extend to this, not all the way. And then I extend this one. Okay, and then I put this, what? No. All right, uh, is this, okay, and then this should be parallel to this, and then now I can put this 1.2, and then send this all the way down to where it's gonna meet with that line Now I can select, what's wrong with that? Came, came past, okay. So now I can select this, and I can select this, and this, and this, and this, so that is sufficient. Okay, so now this one, I'm going to change to be here and then here and then exclude all of that. this this sketch here so start over so now no ay 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 start over select this and this, and this. And then take this one, start over, select all of these. Not that. And take this one, start over, select, all of these, and then go back to the first one, deselect this, bring back the Okay. And
Cool, cool, cool. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be hard to tell which way is up on this. So... I'm going to go back into the sketch here and put a circle in it and then deselect the circle on the top. Sir, that wasn't correct. Then Okay. I will deselect the circle on the bottom. Okay. So now I'll know how to orient it. And then the next thing I gotta do is go in the first sketch. I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna see 10 divided by 3, I think. Yeah. And then ten divided by three and ten divided by three. Then I believe that's ten. Nope, that is One sixth, two sixths, three four sixths, ten divided by four times six. No, because that's bigger than ten. Oh, no, no. Divide by six times four. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then if I offset by 1.2, that might help me to that might help me to uh, Okay, I forgot there was a It's because they're touching right on each other, isn't it? Yeah, they have to be Whoops, okay. I got the math wrong. Okay. So now I've got a middle circle, a, and the two circles, and then make them all the same size, offset them all by 1.2. And then I have to put the outer circle tangent. 
I don't know why that was okay. Now I should be able to make this line 10. 10, not 140. And then, how, how big is 3.8? Oh, so it's a little bigger. Okay. Okay, delete that. Put a line going all the way to the edge. Did that snap on? It did, okay. That has to be 10. 12.4 What in the world? I don't know what happened there, but that's the wrong size. What in the world? Whatever. I should be able to just They don't like that. Don't tell me, okay. I don't like eight. That should be able to let me change it so that this, oh goodness. I wants to preserve that length, gosh darn it. Why does it want to preserve? Why does it? That's not even, that's not even the right length to preserve. What in the world? Oh, it's because I forgot to cons I forgot to put this on this. Now I should be able to Okay. Stupid circles being stupid and circular. Okay. Put a line there. Put a line there. Make them collinear. Make them equal. Or a circle where they meet, another circle where they meet, another circle where they meet. 1.2. 1 1.2. 1 1.2. Small circle with the big circle. Put them right there on the inside put that one on that I said put this one on that
Okay, let me try to put them... Fail to solve. Please try revising dimensions or constraints. Why? That's incorrect. Okay, this is vertical. These two are equal. They're collinear with each other. This circle. Oh, I forgot to make them, I forgot to make the three circles equal. Okay, now what I should be able to do is snap this onto the center line. And then I should be able to, there we go. Now, hopefully I can. What does 2.5 do? It's two, make it one. Make it two. One point seven five. One and a half. If I make it two again, two is good. What about two and a half? Horizontal, touching. That's also good and it's very, very close. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna go on here. It's gonna be very, very, very close to the 10. Okay, now I can change this extrusion to include these and not that. Oh, man. I'm going to create a new extrusion. That's going to include these. And now I'm going to create another extrusion. There was a problem combining geometry together. Of course there was.
Why was there a problem combining geometry together? I mean, as far as I can tell, it's all good. See, by doing this, I'm just going to make it stiffer. I don't want it to be stiffer. I want it to hold up to more, to more uses. This is dumb. This is dumb. Okay. Why? Why was there a problem combining geometry together? We've got the line, we've got the circle, we've got the circle. This circle is inside of this, like the half of this circle is inside of this, and the half of this circle isn't enough inside, I don't think. So what if I made this 2.75? No, that's 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 the wrong that's the wrong direction to go, I think. Two and a quarter. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's this. It's where this meets this. That's wrong. Okay. I need this to connect to this. Now I should probably, maybe, hopefully, be able to cut this away. Yes. Okay. Okay, there we go. And now just to see if something changed there, what is this? Radius 1.247, which is a little less than one and a quarter, which means that it reduced this to a little bit by a little bit. Because now this is a little less than two and a half wide. That should be able to do that. Now what I need to do is because I'm going to be holding it such that, let's see, what's the best way to describe it? 
I'm going to be holding it so that my forefinger is my right forefinger is here and my right middle finger is in this one. So I forgot something. Need to change that. Okay. Uh, did that change the Okay, good. Okay. So I'm going to be holding it so that this is my right middle finger, this is my right forefinger, right? So my fingers, the way they curve, are going to be curving like into this instead of away from it, which means that I need to put a little put a little rounding there of like, I don't know, a quarter millimeter, not really a quarter millimeter, that's probably too small, but that's gonna change something. That's gonna make this tolerance bad. So, what I think I'm gonna do is put a plane from here to like there I'm going to split it real quick. This whole thing is one body. Okay, there we go. Ah, crap. What is this extrusion then? I don't know. I'm going to split it on this. Now I can put the fillet just here. Let's go three quarters of a millimeter. And then I'll recombine them. All right, that worked, okay. So I'm gonna rename this plane to something like finger comfort border. Yeah, I'll call it that. And then can I, now what I'll do is I'll bring this out yeah zero select this point seven five okay I feel like it's dumb that I have to change the radius to zero to be able to select more edges but whatever I feel like that'll be comfortable for me. So, yeah. I mean, I could also, just to make sure that it is always going to be comfortable, no matter what, bring this way the heck out, right? I kind of like that, actually. I'm going to keep it way the heck out. Okay, I think I think if I did this correctly
I just thought of another way to keep it from twisting. I just thought of another way to keep it from twisting since since this one is since this one is a separate extrusion, right? I can extrude this at a, starting at an offset of something like um, two, and then going a distance of like four again, right? And that'll make it more difficult to twist, I think, right? I'm not gonna do that because I think that's just gonna overcomplicate things, but I could do that. So. I'm gonna save this here. I'm gonna save this here. Yes, replace it. I'm going to save this here. Yes, replace it. And then I'm going to print them out and see how well it works. Okay. So, when I printed the Attachment test two, it had um, one, one side of it was way too thin. I messed up the extrusion instead of 1.2, I accidentally typed 0 0.2. So I thought I'd, so I came and fixed that and I forgot to record that. Uh, but I also took the opportunity to actually make it smaller to see if making it smaller would help anything because it was really long right so it was like this long which is I think fifth nope which I don't know how long that is it's pretty long uh, oh it's 25 two and a half centimeters and I shortened it to one and a half centimeters so I thought I'd do that and then, uh, yeah, I've got that printed now, but before I test anything, I had another idea for how I can attach it, or for how I can attach the spoon and fork and either butter knife or spreader attachments to these. <clears throat> and basically the idea is instead of having just this um, just this here I can take all of this and copy it And it can't copy. Okay. So I can take this here and copy it and move it past this line. And that way I could like squeeze it. I could be squeezing these as I'm using the spoon or the fork or whatever. Right? Because it isn't that hard to squeeze on these. So that's what I figured. If I have a way to interlock these teeth into the the hole that it goes in by squeezing it I think that might help some so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna see if I can get away with
Let me see. Can I select this? degrees and then that okay I don't think it wants to move this piece so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna go ahead and finish this sketch I'm gonna go ahead and take this the world oh okay I'm gonna go ahead and take and just make a new sketch here I'm gonna project this and I'm gonna project this now I'm gonna see if it'll copy this Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and see if I can select all of that. Control C, Control V, rotate, choose this axis, one and a half degrees, negative, one and a half degrees. Make that negative one degrees. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to put a line coming out from here, going all the way to here. And then all of these are going to be construction lines so that they don't get now if I can okay so now what I should be able to do is cut away through to here and get rid of the sticks so that I don't accidentally cut those. So now I should be able to basically squeeze on squeeze on these in order to close these. And the reason I'm not doing it on this side is because I shouldn't need to do it on both sides. Plus, if I do it on this side, it's there was some some problem with doing it on that side that I forget what it was, but I don't think that problem is actually an issue. Issue, it's just me being picky. Um, I don't know why, but this doesn't want to close. Didn't want to close when I try to anyways I'm gonna okay and then extrude this to here and the reason I did that okay so basically before before this 
right? I don't know why, but this last extrude, whenever I tried to select these two pieces, it just wouldn't, and it just decided, no, you can't extrude those. And I was like, you know what, I don't care. But because I thought of this new idea, I figured I'll just add a fresh new extrude here, and now I can differentiate, you know, without the two, without the squeezy tooth mark, the squeezy teeth, and with the squeezy teeth. So that's kind of neat, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, hmm. Should I rename this? Yeah, I'm going to rename this to two. And a half. OK. And now I'm going to save this. And I'm going to see how well that prints. And I will test whether I like the attachment style 2 or the attachment style 2.5 better. Um, oh, and then another thing before I forget is I'm going to go and take this. No, not that one. Take this fillet and change that to one and a quarter, maybe. Yeah. I'm not going to actually. Um, holy. There. I'm not going to actually um, print a new one of these. Because base. So, what, what I'm doing right now is as I am. As I am using this program, designing this, making the attachment test two and a half, I'm actually wearing, I'm actually wearing these, right? So, and I'm wearing these to see if it'll get in the way of me being able to use my computer because I forgot to mention that the idea behind attaching these to my fingers right is that I can basically like have a utensil that I can use and not have to put it down to do other stuff and by other stuff I mean either use my computer or play the Nintendo <laughs> so if I can use my computer and play the and play video games while wearing this then it's good and so far it's good I have no discomforts at all but uh, three quarters of a millimeter for this fillet here was like ever so slightly sharp it it's still comfortable but it's ever so slightly sharp so increasing that will make it ever so slightly more comfortable it's not a big deal I, I, I will only print a new one of these when this wears out so, yeah, I'm going to save the whole, the whole file here, and I'm going to print out this and see how well it works. Okay. Okay, so, first things first, don't mind the dishwasher running back there. I am recording this when I have time. I can't really just set, set aside oh I can do this at this time you know anyways I've got the little finger sticks printed out I've already tested them by doing things that are too long for this video for you know just a short little quick little oh this is how well it works kinda thing uh, they're good uh, these are the various styles that I have attempted for the 
method of attachment to the spoon and the fork and the butter knife, right? This is the first one, which I screwed up because this side here only has one layer thickness and so it's it got torn up after I tried to put it in once so yeah these are that but shorter this one is just straight and this one has little teeth that I can uh, Let's see if I can get a good angle on this. There's little teeth in there for this to grab on. And I have here a Hostess Casbars, which I will try to grab with these sticks just to demonstrate how these sticks work. So first I'm going to I'm going to do this one. It's kind of hard to get it going in at first, but once it's started going in, it should be fairly simple. And it's kind of easy to pull it out. Right? I'm thinking I might want to tighten it if I go with this. If I squeeze, it's harder to pull it out. So I like that. Um, so squeezing helps, even on the one that doesn't have teeth. So I might just tighten this tolerance from whatever it was to something less uh, and then this one has the teeth and the top is this side which means the left is this side if I can get this one in it's easier when I'm not looking through the camera because this stupid phone has crap resolution so if I close this and squeeze it Oh darn. Try again. Maybe maybe it has to like lock in. Darn. It's honestly easier to pull off than this one. Uh, probably because it's looser because I needed to cut out the notches for the thing. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna stick with this version of just straight then. And I might get make it I might make it a tiny bit longer. It feels a little short to me. Um the long version goes way out to like here. That's pretty darn long. I think I just need to make it go just cover up this to this last tooth uh, but now I'm gonna open up this Kaz bar and try and grab it with these and you can see these aren't getting too in the way because they can uh, kind of cross which means that they're not gonna get in the way of too much which is actually a good thing about taking away that guide from before. Mm, what's the best angle to go about this? See, I need to use my uh, my thumb to stabilize it, but I grabbed it. And if I grab it from this angle, yeah, and I can take a bite out of it. So yeah, that's good. And because I've already tested this on um, its interference with like tasks, 
not tasks, just like, well, yeah, activities that I do. And I know it doesn't get in the way. I like this. I think this is going to be the final version of the sticks, of the finger sticks. With the minor exception that this has a, who's hissing? A 0.75 millimeter radius on the comfort, on the comfort fillet here. Whereas, if I needed to print, replace this, I'll make that a one millimeter radius for the, I'll call it a comfort edge. So yeah, and then I'm gonna go with this one, the flat design for the inserting it into the things. And I'm gonna make it just long enough to cover up these teeth. 